Hello, Dr. David Beshore here, board certified dermatologist at Balcones Dermatology and Aesthetics. For every patient that first comes to our office for any cosmetic procedure or anything like that, we always do start with a Vizia skin analysis. This is where you put your chin and your forehead and we take three different sets of pictures from the front and each side. And what does that analysis do? It tells us a lot of information. So this is from the front. Um, this is me. <laughs> Uh, and it breaks it down in terms of percentages for everything that we look at um, in terms that we would want to treat. So you can, some, you can see some things are doing great, 81%. If you're above 50%, you're above average, that's good. So, um, but it helps us identify things that we need to work on the most. So if somebody comes in, they say, I'm concerned about brown spots. If it's truly just brown spots, we can just do a laser treatment and make the brown spots go away. But if we're having brown spots and we're having texture issues, it's probably gonna be better to do a chemical peel to address both. So you can do a chemical peel that addresses your texture and your brown spots with one treatment. So the goal is always to get the best results out of minimal numbers of treatments and minimal amount of money spent so we can get the best possible results. Uh, other things that we can look at would be red areas because I'm not doing so good there, but that's because of my rosacea. Um, and that can be treated with a laser as well. It's very important We've talked about this in the past when referring to melasma, people have brown spots on their face. Is there red underlying that that we need to be treating with a laser because that can play a role in terms of the heat that causes melasma to get worse too. Um, so anyway, it breaks down all these different things, texture, brown spots, red areas, and then you can see the um, all my sun damage from years of riding my bike for my Ironman training. Um, if we look, Let's do the right side here. It does the same thing, breaks things down in terms of all the different um, criteria. What's interesting though too, is you can do what's called a true skin age. And so it'll tell you what your actual age and then you know how you're doing in terms of your true skin age, your skin age based on these factors. Uh, it doesn't go any more than 10 years. So it's not gonna say if you're nervous, like it's not gonna say if you're 30, it's not gonna say you're 70. Um, it doesn't go outside of a 10 year range. Um, but what's very interesting, so you can see there's a six year difference. This is true of everybody, so this is normal, but when we do the left side, everybody is a little bit older on the left side, and that's probably from driving in the car. Um, even though we try and wear sunscreen as much as possible, you can see that I'm three years older on my left side of my face, so, which is typical for everybody. But this is a very helpful thing. It helps us identify things that are gonna be the most beneficial, picking the right treatment for the right things, that, right conditions you're concerned about so we can get the best results. Look forward to seeing you soon.